Hello, welcome back. Tracy here. How are you all? So today I have finally decided on what sort of cover I'm going to do for this um, Rascals in Ragamuffin kit from Golden Maid. So I have printed it out um, double-sided. I've done all my fussy cutting and I'm going to do another soft cover journal. I wanted to um, glue the batting down. These I want to play around with and then pin them down and then I'm going to switch it off, sit in front of the TV with a nice hot cup of coffee or tea and um, yeah, so let's get started um, on the cover. Remember this pile? So this was from Timu and I thought I'd ordered the floral one but looking at the colours in it I actually think that they will suit this journal so I'm going to use these as much as I can um, to decorate the outside I've then got these instead of lace so yeah I think I'm set so let's get started so I've just got my normal um, envelope and I'm going to, I don't want to do like glue the whole thing. I'm just going to do it so it's um, just so that the batting's got something to stick to because I will, I'll slow stitch it and then I will actually um, stitch it around the edges. So I like to have it just inside the envelope. And then all we're going to do, I haven't sorted these out. Um, I had a quick flick through them and thought, yep, I actually like all of them. I think that they will suit this, this kit. So I'm literally going to just layer it up. I'm not going to be too fussy. Make sure I've got enough on the edges because I want to fold them around. So I will move this out of the way. Um, I might actually move this over just a tinge. Don't need the glue. Got my first cup of tea ready to drink. And away we go. So I'm not going to overthink this at all. So what's been happening in the last couple of days? So today's Tuesday. Um, I did some baking on Sunday night. Well, I made um, self-sourcing chocolate pudding. Um, my daughter absolutely loves, loves it. So I thought, oh, well, it's cold. It's wintery. Well, it's actually autumn, but it feels like it's winter. And um, I thought, oh, well, let's just do that. She can take some home with her the next day. So I made it and for some reason when I cut when I cut um, butter, I cut it on the bench for some reason. I held it like this and so yep, you know what happened. A knife slipped, went straight in, in there. So um, that was a bit of an ouch moment. So that's healing, but it is a little bit tender. So that being the middle, I think I need to move that over just slightly. Get a few. So I'm just going to place them down um, as they... Like, I'm not going to be too fussy. I'm just going to place them down. I think all of these colours go with these little ragamuffins, as Anne puts them. I might just leave that one for now, although I could actually put it down there, I think. I want to have a bit of slight variation. Oh, 
and this one might be a little bit too dark but we'll put it there for now these that actually goes well with that colouring so this this pack is actually perfect I'm actually really really liking it nope don't want that one though no there we go so there's a few Maybe put that one there, move this one down. Remembering that I'm going to have a topper there. Do I want, let's see why we don't want a black one right there. I don't want any more dark ones. Maybe a blue one. That one's pretty. So what I might actually do I'm going to swap that one out. Put that there. Right there. And maybe swap that one out. And what else? A green. I don't think there's a green there. But I do like that one though. And then we're going into the purples, reds, but yeah. Right, I just want to have a look at this. I think all of... Um, all of the patches that I've picked out, which I didn't really pick, I just went with it. Um, I think they all go go well. Yeah. So this is going to be an exciting little journal. I like everything how it's placed. I um, don't particularly want to muck around with it too much. Um, so what I will do is pin it down. Now I don't want to be stabbed by the pins just to add to my hand injury. Just put a pin here and there just to hold Hold it in place. Might actually do a few of these covers up actually um, and have them on the sideline ready to sew up for when I don't want to come in here if it's too cold. This is my um, cute little animal that Tracy Wood got me in Christchurch. She sent it down to me. So, really cute. Right, now I won't add any... I'll slow stitch around everything. And then that's when I'll come back and add... I probably need to be fair, I need to do, um, I will need to do the topper first before I add 
any extra bits, I think. Um, but these are the pieces that I've got. And then I could chop like some off. It's just a plain piece. What else have we got? Oh, that's pretty. So maybe up there, just to break some of these um, joins. And then there's a plain piece of rick rack. But I do really, really like that. That one's going to go on the front. And the topper will be there, so I might only just put like a little bit there and then a little bit going across. Um, or find something to go down the middle once I sew everything in. Um, but yeah, that's that's the start of my journal. So, I mean, if no, I'm sure there's hundreds of videos out there how everyone does their um, slow stitch kits or um, journal covers. This is the way that I like doing it. Um, so if there's anyone out there that hasn't done it, um, it's as easy as that. As long as you've got coordinating colours, then you're good to go. So that is going to be my cover. So I'm going to go away. I'm going to finish my cup of tea. And I'm going to sit in front of the TV where it's nice and warm because it is really cold here. Um, and what I should have probably done was grabbed another piece of batting and maybe done a couple covers. And I might come back later and do that. But... Yeah, for now, this is going to be my project. It's a sweet short video. Um, but as you can all guess, this is my next uh, journal from Anne at Golden Mead. I know she's got a cute cat one on the go at the moment. I haven't seen that kit yet, but I'm sure it's as yummy as all her other kits. So yeah, hopefully you come back and we will do this step by step so i'm going to go away i'm going to slow stitch everything and then um before i start the next stage i will come back set it all up so you can see me and what i do until then i hope you're having a fantastic week and i'll catch you next time see ya